Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm here to give you a community update on what's going on in the Battlefield community right now. There are actually some new things happening. We've got news about Battlefield 1. We've also got some interesting numbers about Battlefield 5, which I do believe are a bit exaggerated, but I mean, we're about to see. Today's video is basically just a community update. So let's just jump right in. All right, so about Battlefield 1, it is receiving the EA anti-cheat. Now, if you guys are wondering what EA anti-cheat is, it's some sort of an kernel mode anti-cheat and anti-tamper solution developed in-house at Electronic Arts. PC cheat developers have like increasingly moved into the kernel so basically ea needs to have a kernel mode protection to ensure fair play and tackle pc cheat developers on an even playing field so we're not really going to get into what kernel mode is all you need to know is pc cheat developers are using the kernel mode to develop every single cheat that they develop it's like a new playing ground for cheat developers to create hacks that are uh, completely undetectable and are really powerful so now ea with ea anti-cheat is actually trying to counter that in the same playing field so they are developing anti-cheats in the kernel mode to be able to counter the cheats that are being developed in the kernel mode i mean that's the easiest way you can describe that but the good news is ea anti-cheat comes to battlefield one now we do know that ea anti-cheat uh, was first announced coming to Battlefield 2042 and then it went straight to Battlefield 5 and now they are actually uh, making it a part of Battlefield 1. Now there are so many people trying to call out DICE on this to make the EA anti-cheat a part of Battlefield 4 because apparently people are calling Battlefield 4 uh, literally unplayable because of the cheating that's going on right now in that game. And there's also a Twitter post uh, about what's going on with the EA anti-cheat. And it basically goes like this. We're pleased to share that Battlefield 1 will receive EA anti-cheat on September 24th. Previously, we extended support for Battlefield 5, which recently saw 28,000 wrongdoers removed from the game. This support will ensure that we continue our efforts in protecting play. So apparently the EA anti-cheat actually removed 28,000 cheaters from Battlefield 5. And that's just for Battlefield 5. Now that number is impressive, to say the least. I mean, honestly, 28,000 cheaters in like a couple of months, that's great. But I don't really think that's an accurate number. Like, I believe that is exaggerated a lot. 28,000 cheaters removed by EA anti-cheat is just ridiculous. But anyway, if that is actually correct, which in my opinion, it really isn't, that's like a pretty decent number for the EA anti-cheat. If it really works, then we're all happy about it. Like we don't really have anything against EA anti-cheat. And I believe if it works better, then it should keep on getting better and better. But even if we consider 28,000 players just an exaggeration and cut it in half, even if it was like 14,000 players, that would also be awesome. Whatever's going on in the battlefield right now, EA anti-cheat according to DICE and according to EA is actually working. Now that you've watched to this point in the video, I do really recommend you to hit the like button to let this video be shared with other battlefield players. And I do encourage you to subscribe to the channel as well because there are a lot of things going on in the channel right now. I am actually working on a definitive Battlefield 2042 story video that will explain almost everything about the world of Battlefield 2042 that you guys need to hear. And I believe the story of 2042, even though it's not told, even though we don't have a story campaign, is a very solid one. I believe it's even better than Battlefield 3 because the story is like perfect. And that video is coming soon. I can't really give you an exact date for it, but I'm really working on it with all my power, guys. And I will try to uh, like deliver as soon as possible. If that video works out and if you guys like that video, I will be able to make some other like Battlefield 2042 lore videos where I actually just give you the story behind every single specialist or every single map or like the relationship between those maps because right now Battlefield 2042 and the whole Battlefield community really is in a ridiculous radio silence state. 
It's incredible how we don't even have anything going in the game. And most of the Battlefield content creators are now shifting their like channel contents towards Delta Force. And I'm not really going to do that because I didn't really had enough fun in Delta Force, to be honest. I didn't really think it is a worthy opponent for Battlefield. I don't think so. That game has a lot to fix and it really needs a lot more time to become the polished game that Battlefield player wanted to be. But for some reason, it just got hyped so much, so much more than it's capable of holding and handling. And that really made me not want to play it anymore. I made quite a few videos about it, but really, it wasn't my time. So with the current state of Battlefield community, if we want to stick to Battlefield, I believe the Battlefield 2042's lore is a spot that is less touched and there are not a lot of videos about it. So I'm going to dive deep in that. I've really enjoyed making it because there was a lot of like question marks in my mind about what's going on in 2042 and how did we really get here? Because 2042 is considered a, a continuity to Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 events. And it's going to be a fun video, I promise you guys. And I'll be working on it to deliver you that video as soon as possible. So yeah, stay tuned. Let me know in the comment section what to think about the EA anti-cheat. How do you think it affected the game? Whether you play Battlefield 5 or Battlefield 2042, do you think that it really affected the cheating problem that we had in 2042? I really think there are less cheaters since EA anti-cheat actually came on. But I want to know what you think about it. I want to know what you think about the Battlefield 2042's lore video. If you are actually hyped for that video, let me know that in the comment section and that will boost my confidence to make that video as soon as possible for you. So this was the community update that I wanted to give you and hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, stay cool.